More than 100 people have died from domestic violence in Ohio just this past year, and several of those victims include young children. NBC4's Jonathan Jackson is at the State House speaking to people who say these are more than just numbers. Jonathan. Yeah, guys, the mother I spoke with says she lost her two children to domestic violence earlier this year, and now she's sharing her story in the hopes that it will inspire more hope for people as well as bring about change for victims. What will it take for domestic violence survivors to be believed, for them to be heard? Kelly Elliott is a mother still searching for answers after her children, 13-year-old Caleb and 10-year-old Grace, were killed in a murder-suicide at the hands of her husband earlier this year. On January 24th, he shot my children four times. Each. It's why she shared her story in the halls of the State House, alongside members of the Ohio Domestic Violence Network, where they release their annual fatality report in honor of domestic violence victims. And so we've seen a decrease in the overall numbers, but we're still seeing rises in gun fatalities and in the number of children killed. That's Lisa DeGeter, Director of Systems Advocacy and Policy Council with the Ohio Domestic Violence Network. She says in the past year, 112 people have died from domestic violence in our state, and 22 of those victims were young children the highest number of youth fatalities ever recorded in Ohio. And out of those numbers, 16 adults and three children were the victims of domestic violence in Franklin County. It's why they're advocating for more safety and awareness for domestic violence victims around the state, including Elliot, who says she knows there are others experiencing domestic abuse in their family and wants a better system in place to protect those who are suffering. There should be checks and balances, always. My children are no longer here. So everything that I was scared of, everything I was worried about, happened. Now, at least 91% of these domestic violence fatalities were caused by guns, a 5% increase from last year. And advocates here at the State House now are asking for $20 million in order to create more support services for victims in Ohio. Local for you in the State House, I'm Jonathan Jackson, NBC4.